Come along with us as we spend two weeks exploring Italy and Greece with our four kids. We packed just one backpack each, plus one small carry-on suitcase, to make getting around easier since we moved around from city to city so much. On our two-week itinerary, we started in Venice before moving to Florence and then Rome. From there, we flew to Athens and took a ferry to the island of Paros, then came back to Athens and toured around there. We definitely got some looks and comments with four kids in tow, but all in all, this was the trip of a lifetime and I'm excited to take you with us on the journey. What do you guys think about taking a boat to our Airbnb? Different, but really cool. Yeah, this is exciting. We were exhausted when we arrived in Venice, but our spirits were quickly lifted because we met up with my parents in Venice and they were with us for the entire week in Italy. Yeah, mom, look. Oh, what book is that? That's mommy's. Cool. Mommy, look at this. this Brody, did you see the ceiling? Hello from Burano, Italy. The houses are so colorful here. I will say it's a little crowded, but this is just a boat ride away from Venice. It took about 40 minutes, um, but it is so worth it. The colors of the houses are just so bright. The kids are a little crabby and hot, but here we are. Everyone say hi. Hi. Oh wow, very crabby. Ready? One, two, three. We're in Florence! <laughs>
here at the first gelato shop in Florence. Pippa, what flavor did you get? I got strawberry and lemon. Nice, that looks so good. I got chocolate hazelnut and chocolate mousse. And Teddy, what did you get again? Bregola. Yeah. And Bregola. Nice, looks good. Eternal City. Didn't anyone read their info packets? <laughs> Where are we going? We are going to the Pantheon and the Trevi Fountain today. We just got in from Florence this morning via train. Pippa loves the trains, don't you, Pip? Yes. at the Trevi Fountain and now here we are at the Spanish Steps. We just learned they're the widest and longest staircase in Europe. Connecting the eternal city with the sacred or something. Louis, I need you to keep that down. History. into the dough and then we're making flat our dough, pinch of salt in there Beatrice how's your croissant? <laughs> After a week of sightseeing, endless pasta, pizza, and gelato, and moving cities every two nights, it was time to head to Greece for some rest and relaxation. We arrived in Athens late at night, 
slept overnight in a hotel by the port, and then got up early to board our ferry to the Greek islands. Welcome to Paros, Greece. On our first full day on the island of Paros, we went and explored the town of Nausa, and then we figured out the public transportation and took a bus to one of the local beaches. It's called Santa Maria Beach, and we loved that it was in a little cove and the water was calm. It was a little windy, but we had the best time. Your ice cream, guys. Good. Good. What kind did you all get? I got Kinder strawberry. Oh, let's see. When I get I I get white. Oh, okay. And that's stress. Yeah. Something. <laughs> Something and Kinder. And Louie, what did you get? Peanut butter and super brownie. Wow, look at this. What did you find? This. Oh, pasta. On our second full day on the island of Paros, we took the bus to a little village called Lefkis to do some sightseeing, and it was really hilly. We probably should not have brought the stroller to this town, but the colors and the little alleyways were just incredible. After three wonderful nights on the island of Paros of rest and relaxation, it was time to take the ferry back to Athens to do some more sightseeing. Are you guys best friends? That's so sweet. Welcome to Athens! 
We only booked two nights in Athens, and this is maybe my biggest regret of the trip because I don't feel like we had nearly enough time to see everything that Athens had to offer. Plus, our Airbnb was super cool, and I would have loved to stay another night. But beyond that, on our only full day in Athens, we did take a private tour that we splurged on, and it was great. We saw all of the sites, but it didn't really live up to my expectations, and I wish that we had maybe explored some of the city on our own. So after a stop at the supermarket to get some food and a good night's sleep, here's a look at what we all saw on our private tour of the city of Athens. <laughs> Careful, don't fall, king of the world. After our tour, we grabbed some ice cream and then we climbed Philopapos Hill to see amazing views of the Acropolis. Say we can do it. Oh, it's hard. Watch out for the rocks, girly. You got them? Oh, look at you. You're so good at this. Yeah, careful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty impressive, guys. Oh, here's a good one. This one is not good. Calimera! Calimera! We just got a baguette from the bakery. We're ready for our travel day. Got some snacks from the market. Living that uh, Athens life. Since we booked round trip flights out of Venice, we had to take the train to the Athens airport and then fly from Athens back to Venice, stay overnight in Venice because we had a flight back home through Dublin back to Chicago the next day. We're flying home today, 9.30 a.m. And we are walking to the airport. I've never walked to an airport before. <laughs> uh, but our we booked like a booking.com place in Venice close to the airport. So we were able to walk, although part of it was on the side of a highway. 